So the plan today is to replace this switch and basically label up what every switch does. So it's in a pub, obviously. So we can find out the outside lights, restaurant lights, bar lights, toilet lights, everything. So where do we start? I think firstly, by chopping all the cable ties off. So then once we've got the cable ties off, we know what we're dealing with. And I know for a fact that that is for the sockets as well. So we're gonna put a socket on this wall somewhere. So we've got somewhere to terminate that and then find out what all these do and what's up there. So before we turn it off, I'm gonna have a look in here to see what's what and what I will need to label up so I know what lights go where. So it makes it easier when I'm putting it back together because the last thing I want is to be guessing what the lights are because some of the lights aren't even on. Like the wall lights, there's some outside lights, there's all sorts. So if I can get to the cables at the back, put a bit of tape on them, give them a number, and then the number will coincide with what circuit it is basically. Ideally, this would have been better when it was fixed to the wall, but I took it off. Coming in and joined. It's a right mess. So we're gonna make it look a bit neater and hopefully know what we're dealing with. So what I've done for now is labeled out each of the old stickers on here to say what they are, like bar wall lights, bar spotlights, and then put a bit of tape for each number. So I can go through and label each switch wire out of this switch. Basically, if I do this now, then it's gonna make it easier when I put it back together to get things in the right order. We don't want the bar lights up here and the car park lights next to it, just to make it a little bit more organized. So now I've got to find out which is which. And before you rip it apart, you can tell the outgoing supply because of that is gonna be your common coming in and it's bridged out to give a common to each switch. So at the top of the switch is gonna be your switch wire and these are the ones that I wanna mark. So then now we've got all these, 16, 14, all that coincides to my little chart, which I've got from that. And they're hopefully right. There's a few numbers that weren't used. So these are gonna be spare ways because there was double dimmers in there. And also look, that one's not used them two are not used so there's going to be some spare ways but that will hopefully help us set up, separate it up a lot more now i've isolated the supply there's about three supplies going to this so i'm going to determine which supply when i've took it to bits so how i can separate them up but rather than cutting them off at each switch i'm going to undo them because i might need the length so now i just got to go through and then do it all. And I can see in there, there's some cables that have been took taken out previously. So where did that go? And where's the end of the cable? We'll figure that one out. Don't have to undo all of them. We just want the live. Mind you, that's strung out along with that. Live. And live into that. And all the 
earths off as well. We've got all new ones to go in. You can see why now I labelled all the cables. Because once you get them out, <laughs> you're going to struggle to find where they go again. It's a bit of a nightmare. If you're doing it from scratch, from new cables, it would have been better. But you're not, you're replacing it. as well which looks like they're pretty short but what's a good thing in it is they haven't used any as a switch wire they've got the live and neutral coming to the switch and then back out from here so we do know that every black cable inside this board should be a neutral it's all freaking twisted together and the earth are all looped around a lovely mess really for someone like me to come along and replace it take all these connector blocks out because we're going to do our best to make it look a lot neater i'm assuming over the years more and more has been added to this and taken out so it's gonna look a bit of a mess in here over time. So now we need to untwist all of these earths. Take them all out. Oh, it's always stuck on something. There we go, we're out. So I want to separate the switch wires, that double socket can go over there. So I'm going to separate the switch wires along, make sure the cable's not damaged with the lives and get them into a new box, which is This is the new box going to go in here and it is 47 mil thick. So this is getting boarded out. So what I've done, I've chased in it a little bit so it can fit nice and neat. I don't know why I was chased down there. I don't know why I did that, but that can sit in there nice and neat. So we'll fix this box and start getting the switch wires back into this box. So there we go. That was a bit of a nightmare, but I've got them in some oval conduit to go down to the switch, each with a 20, 20 mil hole and a grommet. So it's in the box. Uh, it's not fantastic. We have to do something about these. But we're in, so now we've got to terminate where these go. So that has got all the earths in. The amount of way goes we use there, just to get them all nice and neat in there separate. So that's all the earths connected. Ah, oh, tell a lie, look, there's three there. Flicking plonker. So that's all the earths connected now. And then... I have got some spare ways in there because we're going to earth the yokes that go on as well. So we've got to put earths on them. But other than that, we're all in. Now, let's figure out what circuit's what so we can separate the neutrals onto different circuits. So there's no quick way of doing this. It's just taking its time. So what we've got so far is these circuits in Obviously two spare ways, two spare ways in there. And then these circuits as well. So I'm just working on what my labeling says. 
down here and just try and find out what's live. I know I'm gonna have some cables left over because 14 has already come off somewhere. I see it on the floor. Nightmare. We're up and we're on. Right, so what we've got is all these now separated up nice and neat. Each line is on its own, each line is on its own individual circuit. But I haven't got any blanks. So I'm gonna put these switches in for now. Cause I do think there may be more switches to add in there possibly at a later date. And it'll be nice to use this. And just out of interest, I'll let you know what I used. This is by Click Skullmore, and it's called Grid Pro. So it's not been too bad. We've got a couple of dimmers in there. I don't think they're fantastically fit well. But yeah, it's a Click kit. Interchangeable plates and modules, Grid Pro. It's not bad. Feels, well, be honest with you, it does a trick it works but it just feels yeah it feels all right let me get the front cover on to hold all the switches in place because they click in but if there's a little bit of pressure behind them they pop back out but i'm hoping the front plate will keep on so let's get the front plate on and see the finished product and that's it all on so then bleeding dimmers yeah, they don't fit fantastic. So we're gonna to have to sort them out. So look at this. They work well. Look at that, that's them lights over there, if you can see. They dim well. Just don't fit fantastic, it's grid. But I'm not gonna put all the screws in because the chippy plaster or whatever he's gonna do, will take the, uh, this off to get it nice and neat behind there. So then now what we want to do, what I'm going to do for now, is put some stickers on here of what these lights do. Just in case I lose that. And for wise people are working in, and then all it is. And I can put nice, neat labels all along the bottom when the rest of this place is done. Right, so there we have it. I've put some little labels on to show which is which but i want to confirm when i've tested them all that the wall lights come on and different areas we've got that tab table area on there and the bar lights and things like that rear bar lights and bar lights yep so <clears throat> i've got a bit of ongoing work to do but it's changed and all the cables are in so the plasterer can plaster and um, board that out a bit. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more videos on electrical work as an electrician in the UK. Peace.